janefinch.com. Hello, my name is Paul Nguyen. I'm the webmaster and founder of jane-finch.com. Uh, today we are here with uh, incumbent, uh, liberal incumbent MPP Mario Sergio, and we will be asking him some questions today uh, about for the upcoming elections about his uh, stance on certain issues and what he will be campaigning for for York West in the future. Um, hello, how are you today? Good to have you I'm here. I'm wonderful. Good to be here. Thanks for the invitation, Paul. Great. Wonderful. So my first question is, how will you and your party create jobs in Jane Finch and Ontario, and how will you pr protect jobs from leaving Ontario? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, jobs and the economy has been one of our uh, major planks uh, uh, since we started in 2003, and we haven't really stopped. As a matter of fact, this past June, we created uh, more jobs uh, in Ontario than the rest of Canada combined. Of Canada combined, and uh, if we look, finally, I got my uh, uh, subway extension to Jen and uh, uh, and Fin uh, to uh, Jen and Finn. Well, it's coming up there too. It's coming to the doors of uh, York Region in Vaughan, but it's finally coming to our own York University, and that means three thousand jobs. You know, it's it's funny you ask about particular jobs because. Uh, we fought for a long time to get the subway up here. Is it going to help our students? Uh, we have 45,000 students coming to York. It's going to be helping the local community as well. And the 3,000 jobs not only being created on the site, but there's another 3,000 spin-off with the construction of the subway cars, if you will, which, by the way, they're going to be built by Bombardier up north in the uh, riding of Rainy, um, uh, Kenora Rainy River in the writing of Mr. Hampton, the former leader of the NDP. And it's beyond me why they voted against the expansion of the extension subway to York University. What are your party's plans to lessen wait times in hospitals? And uh, what does your party plan to do to help seniors? Indeed, two good questions. Uh, with seniors, I think we have absolutely the best program put in place by any government in a very, very long time. The last two announcements, the one not only with the deferral for increase in, in taxes, which is not a huge thing, but helps some seniors stay in their homes. The other one is with respect to the 15%, uh, uh, I believe, I think it's 10 or 15%. Um, uh, if they want to remain in their own home and do renovation in their own home, there's a 10 or 15% discount up to $10,000 so they can make some improvement and stay within their home. Uh, we have uh, uh, tax grants, we have uh, uh, realty tax reduction, we have the uh, energy reduction taxes, which means some $355 uh, dollars a year. And 90,000 seniors uh, be, um, in the medium and below the uh, uh, income level do not pay any uh, provincial taxes at all. So that is big for, for the seniors. We have, uh, uh, in 2003, we were the province with the longest away time for surgeries. You know what, uh, Paul? We are now number one, number first, with the shortest. We have cut down, um, I believe, 179 days for uh, uh, hip operation, 227 days for uh, knee operation, and 30.9 reduction in heart surgeries. And this is all in the past eight years. On top of that, we have built 18 new hospitals. And let me say about hospital, I'm delighted that the new Humber River Superstructure Hospital is being built as we talk. What is your position on the HST? HST, uh, let me be blunt and say that it's a good tax. I'll tell you why. Nobody uh, likes to pay taxes, but we all have to pay taxes. Uh, and let me say this that if the Conservatives were to come back to power, we would be paying a hell of a lot more taxes. But when you consider the HST tax that we're paying, let's first understand that this HST a bit of a misnomer because we've been paying the 15% already, uh, GST and PST combined. We've been paying that. The only difference that now we are paying this HST on some items that we were not paying it before. But the question should be really, Paul, what are you doing with the HST money that you collect that we are paying? And you know what? We have built 18 a hospital. We hired 
11,350 nurses. Healthcare system, we are at the best in the English speaking world. We introduced a, a full day kindergarten. It means, Paul, that kids will learn the best at the earliest age. Young people like yourself, I don't know if you're married or not, but if you have young kids and they will go to a kindergarten, full day, full day, parents will be saving $6,500 per kid. And we have introduced the six to 12 program afterwards. Uh, again, after school, which means the parents drop it off in the morning, pick it up in the afternoon, in the evening. So we getting a bargain for the amount of HSD that we pay. And we have, uh, you know, I have to say that because of the HST, we have attracted big companies in Ontario. Look what we've been doing with clean energy. We are leaders in the world leaders with respect to clean, new, efficient energy. I think the people of Ontario are getting a good buck for their money and we will continue on that. Now, my next question is, what is your position on crime and law enforcement? Even though statistics show a drop in the crime rate in the Jane Finch area and in Ontario in general, what would you propose to combat crime, particularly in the Jane Finch area of York West? Uh, it, it's good questions. Uh, uh, in the last few years, uh, if the crime is down in the Jane Finch area, because of good reasons. We've been fighting it. We've been working with uh, uh, not only our own 31 division, but with the uh, Metro Police. Uh, we didn't put in there lots of money. We hired a new policeman. Uh, we put in a good team in there that got rid of a lot of the uh, uh, gangs and drugs from our own particular area. We still have uh, some problem, unquestionably. Uh, but some of this problem, they also come in from outside in the Jen and Finch area but it's not what it used to be. Our crime is down. We hire more policemen. And I I'm, I'm feel uh, kind of sorry to see that the city now wants to eliminate 1,000 police forces. We are hiring and they fire. I don't think that's the way to go. Now, I know you uh, touched upon this earlier, but what is your position on the Humber River Regional Hospital in Jane Finch? Because a lot of cons residents are concerned that because now there's the new super hospital, that uh, people feel like they were going to be getting less services, especially in the community where it's concentrated with a lot oh, of residents. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I like this. Uh, uh, the last election, if you remember, uh, if you were around, uh, Paul, there was only one issue. Mario, it's close our hospital. Well, baloney, Mario was not closing the hospital. I didn't close the hospital. I am not going to close the hospital. I'm saying that again today. Uh, the chair of the hospital said repeatedly that we are not closing the hospital. Uh, the Minister of Health said we are not closing the hospital. You should be so lucky. No other place in Ontario has practically an existing hospital staying, serving as emergency, um, acute care and other services. But we are going to have, it is the first in the world fully digital hospital. It is called is going to be the best family hospital because I believe some 60, 80 rooms are going to be provided for families to be close to their uh, family member in there. Uh, it's going to be just a wonderful new superstructure. Already professional doctors are calling in. They won't be calling to come here because of the facil facilities doesn't permit that. But they are calling in that they want to come to the new superstructure. And I think the people of York West and surrounding facilities will be extremely well served in the healthcare, hospital care with the new hospital. Now, what is your position on Ontario's debt and deficit? What recommendations would, you, would your party make to reduce both? We work on that. Uh, we are on the way. Uh, we did say uh, that we will eliminate the, uh, the debt by uh, 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 2017, uh, 16, 17, I believe, if I'm, if I'm correct. And uh, the other party are saying, yeah, we can do the same. Well, wonderful. The thing is that we only have 1.9 billion of new promises. And you may say, why is that? It's because we have put in place an extremely solid foundation in healthcare, education, and job creations. The others don't. Uh, you look at the NDP, 
we told you with Pact, I'm totally disappointed. There is nothing in their platform with respect to job creation, uh, energy, um, clean energy, uh, jobs, uh, education, and, and a hospital. The PCs, they have a $14.5 billion. We'd like to know where they're going to cut to pay the debt and create what they want to create because they're not saying how they're going to create it and still have a $14.5 billion. So now they have a debt to pay, an extra $14.5 billion. We'd like to know how they're going to do it. I wish, even though they say we are, we are going to have a $14.5 billion uh, uh, promise, if you will, because they promised 229 promises they are making, they are not saying how they are going to improve the economy, create jobs, uh, health care, education. We have to say that they voted both some 97 times together against the government, budget creating programs for seniors, full day kindergarten. They voted against the extension of the subway creating jobs. I mean, what do they support? How are they going to do it? We would like to know. I think the people of under you should know before they go to the polls on October 6th what they're they going to do about creating jobs. They voted against the 55,000 jobs we created with the clean energy. People now, they want to come to Ontario because we are leading the way, uh, uh, the way worldwide. People are saying, yes, it is the best thing to do. And David Suzuki said that. I mean, the NDP are completely mum. And I'm surprised because they were champions of the environment for some time. Now you don't hear that anymore. So they voted against clean energy. So uh, this is where we would create it. We would build on that. And you know, we became number one again in Canada, better than Michigan, Detroit there, the United States and Canada combined in building uh, automotives, in building cars. We just came out from a very severe uh, uh, recession. When we said we have to protect 440,000 jobs and 227 from the, the, the uh, uh, parts sector, they said, no, send them to welfare. We can't afford it. It's too much money. No, we said, we have to bail them out. This is the time that our workers, they need jobs now. So not only we save those jobs and the auto industry, we save the parts manufacturers as, as well. And I have to say that we made the tough decision at the toughest time, and we were right, Dalton was right, because for, after two and a half years, the, uh, uh, all of them, Ford, GM, and Chrysler, not only they repaid, but they created more jobs now, and we have reacquired number one position in building cars in North America. That means a lot of jobs. And we are number one in the solar energies. Can you believe? We are beating, I'm sorry, South Korea or North Korea, I don't know, who they, Samsung, whoever, in, in Ontario now. They want to come over here. I mean, another 16,000 jobs being built by Samsung, already they have three brand new factories. One is in Wealth, I believe, one is in, in Sarnia, and one is in, in, uh, in Windsor. And Mr. Hudak says he's going to cancel the contract when the world is looking for new green uh, uh, re renewable energy. We closed eight um, coal burning uh, uh, producing energy. It is the cheapest, but it's the dirtiest. Well, thank you, Mario, for answering our questions. Now we'd like to uh, leave the floor open to you if you have any final comments for the residents of York West. Well, thank, thank you very much, Paul. And uh, I'd like to say hello to the people of York West. Uh, it is an honor and a pleasure for me to have served you for the past uh, 16 years at Queen's Park. I am very uh, uh, humbled by uh, your support. And I'm very grateful that finally we see the new hospital in our area, uh, the uh, subway extension to York University, uh, the uh, school for nurses at, at York, the new engineering school. We have one of five, five diabetic uh, uh, center at uh, Jen and Finch. So with your support, I hope that after October 6th, I will continue to provide you with my very best. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your support.